Currently zoned agricultural. Um, the request is to rezone the property to rural residential for a 83 lot subdivision. Um, and all these are three acre lots and a little bit larger lot subdivision. Um, the request is for rural residential. That seeing that uh, the acreage requirement for state residential is three acres, and that area of the county is primarily rural in nature. The comprehensive plan rural development area, um, rural residential, is the most dense zoning that's allowed in that character area. Um, so since their request was already three acres, um, I recommended that we do the state residential for this one. Um, <coughs> subject, subject to y'all's recommendation. Um, Other than that, the property is surrounded by other large parcels. Uh, there is some development in the area. Um, if y'all look at number eight, other conditions, it gives some other explanation as to the county water and county fire. And there's also a letter from the 911 director behind here as well as um, the water director about water service. Other than that, um, the additional comments are in addition to this memo. I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's file and the video recording of the planning commission's hearing, including but not limited to all witness testimony, in order that this information be made part of the record and shall be available for the board of commissioners to review and staff has recommended that this application be approved under the estate residential zoning classification. Um, when we were looking at it, I would say that it may be worthwhile to have the discussion on a central water system so that when county water does make it out there, there is something to connect to. Uh, but that is a discussion that you can have with the developer at 
that time. If you don't have any other questions, we <coughs> show the applicants here, and I'll do my best to answer any others you may have. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, my name is Cameron Klein. I'm with the law firm of Miles Sanford Talent on the here uh, on behalf of the applicant talking rock tonight. Um, we have a PowerPoint pretty brief. I don't know how to control it. Over here. We've got it. Over here. Okay. okay. We need to change slides. All right. Thank you. Um, so we have that up there. And I don't want my back to anybody. We have the uh, tax uh, tax parcel over here. Um, so like staff said, uh, we have it uh, 278 uh, approximately acres. Uh, it's currently ag. Uh, we were looking for, uh, in our application, we were looking for rural, rural residential after reading uh, staff's report and recommendation of a state uh, residential. Uh, I don't believe we have any problem with that. Um, we have uh, the three acre minimum lots already. Um, so I don't believe there's any objection to staff's recommendation of ER. It is uh, 83 uh, single family residential lots. Uh, is what the site plan currently shows. Um, get to the next slide, please. Uh, this is just a survey of the, that property um, that specifically is being uh, is subject of this application tonight. Uh, 278 acres. Um, next slide, please. Uh, that's uh, for everybody else. So that's just we wanted to show um, the surrounding areas. Uh, you can see all that RR up there in uh, the upper uh, left corner uh, and right corner, the UR at the top, the SR, and there's a little bit of ag uh, over there on the side. So what we're requesting um, is what's already up there right now. Uh, we want to bring this in uh, to compatibility with this area. Um, like I said, we're, we're looking for three acre lots, so large lots up there. Uh, in that area of the county. Um, the next slide, please. And this is the site plan. Uh, I actually have them on that group. You can see it as well. Um, so that's showing the, the three acre lots. Uh, it's the 278 acres uh, that's subject of this uh, application tonight. Um, but that upper, let's see, upper left corner, um, you can see there's a note. Uh, there's 40 acres that's already zoned to RR uh, that will be incorporated into this development. So we have the 278 that we're looking to rezone, uh, but we already have 40 that is already zoned. Uh, that'll give us uh, access out there onto uh, Big Ridge Road. Um, the roads are proposed to be private roads uh, maintained by uh, the association uh, once that's established. Uh, the water, I saw staff's uh, comment about a central water facility. Um, right now, the proposal is all these lots will be on well and septic. Um, so we know that there's no county water up there. Uh, that's why we're proposing the well uh, and septic. Um, so that is the proposal that we have. Um, I know we'll have some comments. Uh, we've had uh, one comment to, uh, to my office so far. Um, the owner of uh, parcel uh, it's 61 and 60 is kind of the right hand corner Dickinson. Um, that ironically is a, a judge in Forsyth County, which my firm has some uh, experience with. Um, he had some concerns about the stream buffer. Um, we, we assured him that all buffers are going to be complied with. Um, and uh, yeah, I think he had some comments about uh, potential mobile homes. Um, we assure them that we know that that's are not allowed in any of these categories, ER or RR, so there will not be any mobile homes. Um, and topography on those lots specifically, um, it's a high grade near the back of the lot, so those lots, will probably, or the homes on those lots, will likely be located closer to the street, that whole side right back there. Um, all of a sudden, we're going to have some comments, um, and hopefully we, I can address those tonight. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. <laughs> 
So, so who says by the phrase, but yet in the application that's in it talks about that the race in the future might be deeded over to the cat, which is it? Well, we're, well, I'll tell you, we're proposing private roads with a gate that will be maintained by the association. Paved um, roads? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paved county stacks? Yes, sir. Your letter of intent says all the developments, interior streets, and driveways will be publicly owned and maintained. Uh, and then goes on to say uh, the applicant intends to dedicate internal subdivision roads to Pickens County. I believe that was an, a, an error in drafting that. So I'll, I'll clear right now and I'll say our, our site plan calls for the private roads. Um, so, so we'll, we'll uh, defer the site plan on that one. So, so private roads, fifth county spec, with appropriate right away? Yes, sir. So, why, why would we want to see those over and, and have the county take responsibility for that? Other than the individual property owners. I don't know if it's necessarily an objection to the county taking over. Uh, I do have uh, the developer with me, uh, Mr. Davis, here. I, I think he may be able to shed some light on that. Yeah, I think the water uh, the water is like a mile and a half away. I'm talking about roads. Oh, the road side. You know, because uh, we're building, the, I mean, it's right beside Talking Rock Creek Resort, which we're doing some cabins in there trying to get that thing going. You know, I, I have no objection. I mean, whatever's. Uh, best for the county or whatever y'all want to do, I mean. I mean, I, I've seen where you, unless the covenants are really, really tight, individual property owners agree on maintaining roads on their own particular down the road. I mean, it's not to me. You get five or ten years down the road and the roads need to be repaired and whatnot. Uh, we, we certainly understand that. And like I said, I, I don't believe it's an objection to the county taking possession of the roads if that is what staff would recommend or what the, the, uh, the planning commission would prefer. Uh, we would be okay with that as well. Again, it's not an objection. It's just kind of what we have on the site plan. Um, so if staff and the PC or one of the either would prefer uh, dedication to the county of the roads, built to the county standards, um, appropriate right away and, and all and all necessary uh, requirements. I, I don't believe there's an objection uh, from us. What would, what would the county preference be? Yeah. I mean, the I rules mean, are there. Well, respect. I think they'll always, you know, as soon as a pothole appears five years down the road, they're going to be petitioning us to take care of it anyway. Um, as long as they are built to county spec, um, and then. Once they submit a letter of petition to the county saying that they want the roads taken over, the county goes out and inspects the roads. They would then have to deed the roads over. And once they deed them over, the Board of Commissioners would have to vote on it, whether or not to even accept that into the road system or not. So there is still a significant process behind that. But if they start off with private roads at county spec, that, that puts us all in a good position, I think. And may I clarify something? The mobile homes are allowed in all of our residential zoning districts unless there is a zoning condition or a covenant that prohibits them. So, so what do the covenants say? Have they been drafted yet? They have not been drafted, no, sir. There won't be no mobile homes. This is going to be cabins, more of a second home. What we're looking at, and just people that, you know, they'll be probably 50 50, I would say, that lives there full time and then have some second homes on the river. Got some mountain views on the property. Well, you're, you're the developer, and you're just going you to sell a lot, so you're going to have to. I'm going to sell the lots, and then I'm a builder too, so I, you know, build it for them, but they still have their option to use whoever they want to. They're not locked in the fusion thing. I mean, I was just saying, if I was coming along and I was looking at one of those lots and I was thinking about buying it, the, the aspect that the county has a responsibility for maintaining it as opposed to me getting everybody else together, I think that would be a positive marketing tool for you in selling the lots. 
you saw that as far as take, taking care of the road? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so tell me about the water. You're, you're going to put how many? 83 wells? Mm -hmm. how, how deep are the wells in that area now? Probably 250. Is the water source that? It's still good. Yeah, I've already had it looked at. Yeah. And the septic. Yes. And, and what is your position about that? That what the county has suggested with respect to a, a water system <coughs> that would have one well as opposed to multiple wells. Well, if, you know, there's water. There's a six or eight ditch main that's one mile from there, yeah. which is in the Talking Rock Creek Resort. If we ever brought it up there, <coughs> we could always run the water service later. No problem. You know, eventually, see if it actually comes up to the road. So and a lot of people might wait two or three years to build and then we can bring the water up there until mm -hmm. then, you know, I don't think everybody would be attacking it to build right away as far as buying the lots, you know, it kind of just... The Water Authority does not, the letter from them indicates that they would have to update that um, water main that comes in. I'm assuming it's from local. Okay. There's, a, there's a water main that's right out right There's one the there, but they're saying that it's possibly it's not going to be large enough to serve that. There's one on the top of Rock Creek Resort that's supposed to be. That's why we just figured up wells and set things on every lot. We wouldn't really count on the water service. We were just going to let every homeowner do their own well and their own set. 83 septic tanks on top of Rock Creek. There's only 20 lots on the creek. Oh, that's another thing too. Those lots don't look as if on the creek there don't really look as if there's three acres. They are. They Mark are. Chastain's one through that. No, I was just looking at how much smaller they were than the other lots. Yeah. They're more narrow. They're more narrow and longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every every lot on this parcel will be three acres. Excuse me, with that many wells being dug, sir, and you're. Oh, I'm sorry. Time later for public. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. okay. So I don't see the road right away listed on your site. Coming out, Big Ridge Road. The road right, the right away within the community. Those the lots are hitting the See the, the main entrance off Big Ridge Road? The, the, the width of the road throughout the community. What, what, what is the volume of the road? It's 22 feet. Commissioner Crow, if you look at note number four. Yeah, it's 60 feet. 60 feet right away with a 20 foot. So that needs to be spent. So it was 60 instead of 22? Well, the, the whole, I mean, what you grade is 60. But when you bring it in, when you do the, the curves and all the water flow, you get down to a 20, 20 foot, 10 foot on each side for in and out. And is, is the 40 acre track that's already zoned RR, what are you going to do with that? That's where we had to get that to get the main entrance off of Big Ridge Road to get into the property. So we, we worked it out with them to sell us 40 of their 1500. They went, went ahead and dealt with us and gave us the 40 acres so we could put the main entrance off of their 40 to get back into the the mountain views and the river and everything. Because it really, there was, the land is really not worth anything without them working with us.
If you talk to the county or anybody about it, the reason of Sweet Ridge Road, they'll act. You know, it's right where this land is, it's coming right into the Talking Rock Creek Resort. You know, it's all right there together. So, but I mean, it's all, I mean, all the roads are pretty, pretty solid all the way back from 53, coming all the way back there because I'm doing cabins already in the Talking Rock Creek. There's only about 200 more cars on that road. Yes, sir. No, I have not. This property, I do not have a chance to get down there. Where Big Ridge Road goes into like a four-way thing in Damascus, right ahead of Damascus. Is this toward Black Knob or is this toward that? Turn, turn to the right. When you get to Damascus and Big Ridge, turn to the right on Big Ridge. Go down towards Macedonia Baptist Church and Talking Rock Creek Resort. Okay, it's three miles down there and it's, it doesn't face on Big Ridge, it's off. And the notice of hearing sign is actually a half mile off of Big Ridge Road. Okay, property water's edge lot one uh, i've also got some of the other residents lot 10 lot 11 so we got them there so my concern about this entire area is that it's actually by georgia standards an imperial priority watershed and the topography of this area you've got extremely steep areas you've got shears that run down through here um, when they get to a point where the residents do begin to build. Are you going to be building all the residential sure. plans? We need to do it direct your questions to oh, I'm us. sorry. Does the builder plan on doing all the building on the lots themselves, or are they going to let the owners of the lots have their own builders come in? I think you better probably work both ways. Both ways? Okay, thank you. Um, my concern is some of the most steep areas and some of the shears are going to require that the residents actually, if I'm not mistaken, on the standards have two septic tanks are going to need redundant systems that are in place there and uh, there's being the watershed that it is it's got about 5,000 feet of actual talking rock creek frontage that runs around the corner 5,000 feet is a lot of watershed that's going to have to be kept up with it's a trout stream we don't want to see anything coming downstream towards us also through the center, through the core of the property, there is a stream. Um, it's not labeled by name, but through the, if you look, uh, almost right in half, the little squiggly line, there's some dotted lines, some dashes that outline it. In that center core of the property, that stream feeds directly down into the Talking Rock Creek as well. And, and again, the concern would be, has there been a proper hydrology study? Has someone, has a, a certified uh, engineer been in there to, to look at that property and to see that that all the impermeable surfaces are going to drain the right way. I mean, just putting a bunch of marks on a map and calling them a subdivision doesn't make sense to me when in, it's it's just going to be a huge amount of water. There's going to be a septic situation we're going to have to look at uh, for future studies. You know. An environmental impact study, I think, would probably be in order, particularly because it is an imperiled priority watershed. They're not going to be on the city's water system. They're going to be pulling groundwater up, 83 wells pulling water right out of the ground. I mean, it might look like a good thing on paper, but I don't think that it can be. Um, you know, beyond that, I think I'm going to yield my time to anybody else that wants to First of speak. Uh, Justin, can you address any of those? Yes, sir, you raised. 
the rezoning is just the first step of the process. When this goes out to uh, soil erosion and it goes to grading and they submit their uh, plans, um, a hydrology study would be required for something of this size generally. Um, so that's something that gets submitted to uh, the state. So the concerns that you raise in a broad sense will be addressed at that, at that point. And the Soil and Water Conservation Commission will actually review the plans for this subdivision if and when it were to be approved and get the built out. I have two concerns. The first is the uh, density of the property. You've got three acres minimum, 83 lots. That's 249 of the 278 acres, which leaves less than 10% for roads, right of way, and infrastructure. And I haven't had the opportunity to figure out the linear feet of the roads on that, but I respectfully submit that you're not going to be able to achieve 10% of common area with that density of lots. And so the question is, what in fact are you going to do with the roads? If you're going to build them to county specifications with a 60-foot right-of-way and a 20-foot pave, now you're over your 10%, so you can't have a three-acre lot minimum, which is the state requirement. And so it would seem that the answer to that question is to reduce the number of lots, understand the consequences that has for the developer, but that plus the concerns raised by this gentleman about the environmental impact on Talking Rock Creek, 83 septics, gravity is the law, stuff flows downhill. Downhill is Talking Rock Creek. There are provisions with the Planning and Development Commission to provide for environmental impacts and hydrology studies at this stage. You don't need to wait to determine. And if, in fact, what we're going to have, there's a quite significant question about whether there's going to be private roads, county roads, the density of the lots, the environmental impact on Talking Rock Creek, I respectfully submit that it might behoove the developer to address these concerns, make a resubmission to the commission with a set of HOA, proposed HOA covenants that provides this commission and the county commission with an assurance of what in fact will actually be done out there. Thank you. Marshall Mullins. I have some property on Tucker Dog Creek. My biggest concern Tucker Dog Creek is the only recreation creek in Pickens County. It's the only creek where kids can play, swim, canoe, interview throughout the whole county. Dog Rock is also a very extreme place. It's the most beautiful creek in all of North Georgia. I know that because I canoe a lot. I canoe every stream and river throughout Georgia. Dogger Rock is the most beautiful. People come from everywhere just to see it. But they want to see it as it is. That's safe place for our children. Let's preserve some for our children. Give them a beautiful place to go. For, in regards to the, some of the concerns that have been raised uh, here, uh, we would be happy to meet with the neighbors. Um, we would be happy to try and address uh, some of these concerns um, that, the, uh, that the county uh, and the neighbors have. Um, so if, if, if the commission would be open to a 30-day postponement, uh, we would like to take that opportunity 
to meet with neighbors uh, and uh, to try and address these concerns that have been raised tonight. Justin, what's your reaction to that? You can do a motion to table, motion to table the application, and then pick, um, or not to table, but to um, postpone to a definite date would be your motion, and then pick it up in the uh, March planning, have it on the March um, agenda to to address. I didn't see you up there, Sorry, I'm running a little late there. There are four scheduled for March already. So. Um, the state's got to address Marshall's concerns about the creek. The state's got certain specs, right? Is it, what is it, 50 feet or something like that? It's 50 for a uh, trout stream. Yes, sir. Marshall, that trout stream? I'm going to use or not. Have you ever caught a trout in there? <laughs> but I do live on a trout stream. 50 feet. I know we're near enough. I got on my cell phone. I showed you pictures. Well, they destroyed this creek. There's one house. One house destroyed that whole entire creek system. One. 50 feet. What, what thing is getting me to realize? 50 feet. I probably could on level ground. That's not worth a foot on state ground. State ground should be 5,000 feet. Don't even get in sight. Because we all know how fast the water, when it starts running down a mountain, you've seen it. You've seen the roads. What's it in there? You've seen the lakes, they turn to mud. Why? Because the counties are not strict enough. It's all about elevation. If you're living flat, you can feel pretty close. But if you're talking about talking to a creek, where every fight's just a bluff, trampling down, you can't get nowhere near. And I'm talking about. You can't set a footage. You gotta, you gotta look at the lay of the land. From the point it starts dropping, you gotta stop all construction well beyond that point. Not at that point, well beyond. Holding ponds, reservoirs to slow this water down. If you don't, you will destroy the whole. Oh, yeah, there's only uh, 20 lots on the river. The other 63 is behind it. There's mountain views and everything. We will do everything the county requires. Test. Mark Chastain, I'm sure y'all heard the name in here. I mean, he draws it to we do it up fly over, they do the topography. We'll make sure all the water, sewer, and septic system is done to y'all's specs. But there's only 20 lots on the river, and they're not like Talking Rock Creek Resort that's like this. Their elevation is so much laid out much, these houses will be 100 oh, no, to 150. That's not, that's 150 not. feet. 150, that's probably 100 to 150 feet off the river. We're not even talking about building 50 feet on, on the river. And there's only 20 of them that's on the river. So, but like I say, we will do everything to y'all's standards in the county to make this where it's a win-win for everybody. You know, I won't, we won't do, never try to do anything that runs the Talking Rock Creek because I'm building cabins in the resort next, next door to it. You know. So your offer is to um, meet with all interested parties, hear their concerns, and yes, come to some compromise on 
issues that can be. Some may be, some may not. But address the issue of whether or not there'll be private roads versus public roads. Yes, sir. That, that's that's, that's uh, what I propose. And revisit it in the March meeting, or is it too soon? Uh, I, I think we could be able to, to get it uh, back on the March one. Um, unless so we have a large meeting forward already next month, and maybe the following month. It a big bit on their office and how they can schedule it. Okay. okay. It's, it's up to y'all. Okay. We would request the March one. Very briefly. Yes, ma'am, very briefly. I would just like to point out once again, they're talking about 20 lots that are actually on the Talking Rock Creek, but if you look up the core of the property where the other stream runs that empties into Talking Rock, you're going to have another 20 or 30 properties on if you're counting both sides. Again, where the dashed lines are, right up the center of the core of the property, you've got these dashed lines. That's a stream. You've got properties on both sides of the stream that are going to be feeding directly into that. That's going to feed directly into Talking Rock Creek. There's a lot more than 20 properties that are going to be dumping into this. A lot more. No, sir, I would move that. Sorry, Clayton, go ahead. Okay. No, that's fine. You, you are I was going to move that uh, based, based on the applicant's uh, proposal to postpone this decision until the March meeting. I move that we, we postpone it until the March meeting. Um, we have a motion to postpone this until the March meeting. I'll second that. And a second. All those in favor of uh, raise your hand. Please carry your hand in this today. Um, uh, that uh, public hearing at this time is closed. Let's see that's it. It will be um, Next is board mm -hmm. comments. This process works best. When all the stakeholders are involved, it's great to see, you know, turnout like this. It definitely helps our decision. Uh, we appreciate your cooperation in hearing these concerns. Uh, or at least I would like to speak to the rest of the committee. Yeah, so much. Okay, thank you. Public comments. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you talked earlier about the wells, individual wells, 83 of them are going down 281 feet. If you have that 83 wells down 281 feet, what happens to your hydraulic pressure on that? Has anyone looked that's at that? That's something they will have to work out. <laughs> that, that's a lot of wells, and that's uh, okay. and an eight-inch water line will never feed that many homes. Okay. The public part of the hearing on this is closed, okay. so we have this done. I just want okay. to bring it up. That's all. I understand. Thank you for the comment. I've got one more comment. May I? The uh, what takes a, uh, a private road into a county road to take over, maintain, and putting a road in? Where does that draw from a private road to a county taking the road and building the road, etc.? What is the stipulation that requires that to happen? My list is right there, but I believe they're the exact same standard. Yeah. Um, so there same are right away same specifications for right away, and it has to be requested and approved by the county. Does it have to be like, say, the lot owners with the parcel? I say you've got 400 acres, and you've got five owners that in there. Now, if once all the lots are sold out, does the county, if they're requested, do they come in and view it and oversee it and put their opinion yes, on it? Definitely. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. So they got to go to the county well, for that permission? The problem is that they're not dealing with this because we are closed. This hearing is closed. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got a general procedure question. Mm -hmm. um, does the planning and development department make a written report to the commission on things such as this? Uh, yes, you do have a report, yes. Uh, we just recommend. This is just a recommendation. I, I, I understand that. Okay. But, there, but you, you, for this... For example, for this particular rezoning application, you've received a written report from the Planning and Development yes, Department? Yes, the Planning Office will take And that, that's that. subject to an Open Records Act request? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, sir. Thank you. Did you send that in today? I did. Okay. It, it's 
the three days hasn't yeah, expired. I, so I, I, we did. We received one today. And, and I just make sure that you, you can have it. We'll have it My department's pulling three today, so. Yes. Goodness. Okay, any other public comments? Okay, I can see on your bow. Okay, um, next is the appointment of officers with field leaving. We now have a vacancy as chair of the planning commission. Uh, do I have a you do, and my recommendation would be you, Pat Holmes, as chairman. But we're going to recommend you, so. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend Blake Moore. Nothing you can't handle, right, Clayton? <laughs> I will second that. <laughs> this is not the way this is. It's just another day in paradise. <laughs> yeah, you really deserve this. You, you deserve this. You, you ask such wonderful questions. You're good for this. All those in favor of Clayton, please raise your hand. Motion is carried. Like, thank you. Congratulations, Clayton. <laughs> this is a ramrod. <laughs> they are so kind. <laughs> okay, I'll raise your hand again for Clayton. I'm, I'm not yes. voting for myself. <laughs> What you get from this and last month, like you got kicked in. <laughs> we have time to plot. Okay. Um, um, for vice chair, uh, it's also time to redo that one as well. Since so you've engineered this thing, I see you've got a vice chair identified as well. Now. I'll second that. Yeah. <laughs> you You've second what? The, the, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All those in favor? <laughs> okay. Now we need a appointed secretary for this, and I would talk to Stacy. She seems to be the one that communicates yeah. with us all the time. Who's the right one? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that's up to some discussion. Like I, I think it's supposed to be the person that does the minutes, but it mentions the uh, the land development person. So uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm recommending yeah, that y'all uh, pick her. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she's been the one that's been doing it. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a uh, recommendation for Stacy? Yeah, move it to Stacy. Okay, we have a move. Second? Oh, second. Okay, all those in favor? Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> been railroaded too. <laughs> 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 <laughs